Big news for Canva users. You can now add page numbers to automatically to your designs. So stick around and I'll show you how you can use this game changing feature in just a second. If you are new here, my name is Steve and my goal is to help you learn something new today. Something new that can help you improve yourself and even make some extra income if you want without disturbing your day job. Now this feature that we'll be talking about works better with multi-page designs uh, like ebooks, workbooks or even presentations and I think you'll love this one. So the first thing that you're going to do obviously is to go to Google and search uh, canva.com and then once you're on that you can sign up uh, for an account for free. So everything that you'll be talking about is all free and you can use it with a Canva free account. Once you have logged in, you will be onto this page, which is the home page of Canva, and then you can come to create a design if you don't have a design already. If you've got a design that doesn't have pages like me, uh, that's what I will show you what you do. Instead of going there, you just open uh, that design. And this is an example of a design that I have, and it doesn't have pages as you can see there. So that's what I'm going to show you now. So once you are um, on that design, you need to come to the left toolbar and go to text. Click on text there and then this menu will come where it's got different options there. So I want you to scroll down to where it says dynamic text as you can see there. So you can tell that it's a new feature and that's what we'll be working on. So I'll bring this design up a little so you can see. So what we're going to do we're just going to click on to where it says page numbers. So I'm clicking on that and immediately if you look down here, you will see that zoom in, zoom out a little bit so you can see that page number one is already that page. So once you click that, automatically it loads up all the pages and this is page two as you can see and page three all the way to the number of pages that you have. So once you are happy with that, then that's it. But I think you would want to customize the, the whole thing again to make it looking a little better and um, improve it uh, with the fonts and different sizes how you want it. So if you look back again on the left here, you see the format. It says page number only, like page number. And then we've got a page and a number. And then we've got a page of, page X of like one of two if you've got two pages. So you can choose which option yeah, you want. So I like just the number, so I'll leave that there. And then when you come here, you see it's got the page numbers, all the numbers that you have in the page, all of them. So I've got five pages and it will list all of them there. And then what you can do, I don't like page number it's on the first page and the last page. So what I will do, I will show you what I'll, I do. So before I do anything, as I edit those pages, I need to apply all properties to all pages. Properties that I have, like the page, they will be applied to all pages, as you can see. And then anything that I'll do, I'll change, I'll also um, apply to all pages so that uh, they can be reflected. So the first thing I'll do, I'll just remove that first page there. And then I'll go to the last one and I'll remove the last uh, page, the back page. And then I'll say done. And then I'll apply to all properties. And then if we look back, you see page one is gone now on the first page. And now we only start with page two, three, four. And then the last page is not there anymore. As you can see, you got page four there. So that's how you, you do that. And then now you can also customize the pages. So I'll come to this one here, the page two. And I'll click on that page I've just loaded. And then I can increase the font. Uh, to 15 it will go up i'm just doing this just to show you and then um, i will change the font i'll just change the color i'll do that and then i'll move out and then i will go to i'll click on that again i'll take out i'll click there so i can have these properties and then i'll apply to pay uh, all pages so that the font and the color as you can see now the font is bigger and the color is, uh, is changed as well as you can see. I'm just doing an example so you can see what to do, but it should be easy for you. And then if you want to change the font, you go back to that page again and uh, I'll click out, I'll click there again, and then I'll change the font here. Let's see, I'll just make a bold one so you can see as well. And then I'll 
I'll click on it again and then I'll apply to all pages and then you'll see that it's all bold again. So everything you do, then you apply to all pages and then it gets uh, applied to all the pages you have. And that's it really. And the only thing that Canva doesn't have right now, which I think they're still working on it, is that uh, you can have, uh, if I want to change page the way they flow, like page two here and then maybe page three on the left, left right if you just want pages and the page are on the right side or you can move them to the left side as well so it's easy and that's all that i have for you guys and if you have enjoyed uh, this uh, video or if you found value in this please uh, share it with your friends and family members and uh, please don't forget to give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments at other canva a tutorial you want me to have uh, or you want me to prepare otherwise thanks for watching and i hope you've learned something and i uh, will see you in the next one you take care bye